بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Today we're gonna start uh, discussing the uh, stability of control systems okay the stability of control systems um, you remember the last uh, in the last lecture we talked about what or um, we discussed the major concerns of control systems uh, des design when you design a control system when you design the controller uh, for the transient response what are the major concerns number one is the stability you want to have a stable system okay when we say stable that means the transient response or the time response should be converging as we said in math it should converge to a certain value not diverging okay converging means stable diverging means unstable okay number two accuracy that means the error you want to reduce the error number three speed of the response that means you want to have a less settling time the settling time the time it takes to reach and stay within two percent of the final value when you reach the steady state we call this the speed of the response usually you want to have a less time response uh, sorry a less uh, settling time okay now in this course we're going to focus only on stability okay to discuss the stability there are three methods okay method number one is very simple when you have a, a simple characteristic equation you go there and you solve for the root of the characteristic equation and you check the real part okay if the real part is negative you're good if it's positive no good okay that's all we will see it in this uh, lecture okay then we will move on to method number two if you have a, a higher order uh, characteristic equation okay and method three is the most the most popular and the more uh, uh, this is the most common method that we use in control to co you design the controller for the transient response we will talk about this at the end of the chapter inshallah okay so today let's start with method number one go directly to the characteristic equation all right now what is the characteristic equation remember the OLTF the open loop transfer function it's the feed, uh, the feed forward times the feedback transfer function CLTF, the closed loop transfer function, is G over 1 plus GH, the feed forward over 1 plus uh, the open loop. We call this the open loop transfer function, this one. Okay. Now, you see the CLTF? This is the equivalent block diagram, if you remember in chapter 4. The, the denominator, this equation, we call it the characteristic equation. We call it the characteristic equation. If you solve the roots of the characteristic equation, you check the real part. This real part will determine the stability of the system. As simple as that. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see an example. All right. Now, in this example, this is the characteristic equation. So this is like what? This is like a uh, the transfer function of the system. This is a first order system. So this transfer function could be uh, similar to this one. The CLTF the CLTF for example could be like this okay the controller over s plus a number okay a is a real number okay so the uh, characteristic equation this is the characteristic equation okay solve okay you have only real number right there is no imaginary number this real number is it less than or equal zero yes if yes, that means the system is stable. Alas, that's it. System is stable. Okay. If you want to solve using MATLAB, okay, or you want to sketch it, this is first order system. You check the uh, initial value and the final value. You will see that you will have a uh, exponential, decaying exponential. What does it mean, decaying exponential? Is it going to a certain value, converging? Or is it going to infinity, diverging? It's going to a certain value, right? Certain value and stay within there, right? So what does that, that mean? It's stable. So the good thing, without the drawing, okay? okay, Just check the real part. Is your real part uh, negative? If it's negative, that means the system is stable. Even if it's zero, it's going to be stable. Okay, as simple as that. All right. This is what now, this is the big picture. You see here, this is J omega. 
This is the imaginary part. This is the real part. Okay, this is the real part. Okay, the real part. This is the imaginary part. Imaginary part, sorry. Imaginary part, okay. So this is the real axis, this is the imaginary axis. These points are what? These points are the roots of the characteristic equation for different systems. These points are the roots for the characteristic equation of different systems. Let me use the laser pointer, maybe you can see it better. See these roots? These are the roots of, diff the, of the characteristic equation of different systems, okay? All right, now check this region. This region has a positive real part, right? This region has negative real part, okay? And this is the imaginary part. You see in the imaginary part, you can see omega. This is the frequency, all right? All right, check this example for, uh, for this system. Okay, how much the uh, real part? Is it negative or positive? It's negative. Okay, negative. Does it have uh, an imaginary part? No, only a real part. So this is going to be similar to which example? This one, right? Similar to this one. So if you can see, the solution will be decaying exponential, similar to this one. This one also similar to the, this system. Okay, but uh, the uh, uh, negative is more. The negative real part is sorry, less. So what's the difference between this one and this one? You can see the settling time will be less. It will decay faster. That's all. All right. So the more you go this way in the negative side, the uh, uh, rapid is the decay. Okay, faster decay. All right. Okay. All right. F for the first order, let's focus only on the first order system. What if the real part is positive, like this one? This one, real part is positive. What will happen to the transient response? Is it converging or diverging? Look, it's going to infinity. This is unstable. This is unstable, all right? This is unstable. All right. So let me write it here clear. Any root in this direction, it will be unstable. Any root in this direction, it will be stable system. All right, what about this axis? What will happen if we move or we have a root in this, uh, in this uh, direction? So it will have an imaginary part. Clearly you have omega. What does it mean omega? You will have a frequency, that's all. So any root in this area, in this region or in this region, you will have imaginary part. That means you will have omega, you will have a frequency. Be careful, frequency has nothing to do with the stability. Frequency is a frequency, okay? Stability means what? Either converging or diverging. So if the system is converging to a certain value like this one or this one or this one or this one, that means it must be stable. All right. Look at the roots here, this one and this one. Is it a positive a real part or a negative real part? It's positive. So what does it mean positive? Is this stable or unstable? In other words, is it converging or diverging? Look, the amplitude is getting higher and higher. What does it mean higher and higher? It means unstable, unstable, okay? All right, so any root here, stable, any root here, unstable. What about these roots that has a zero real part? Is it stable or unstable? These roots are stable. You can see, look, look at the amplitude, it's fixed. It's not increasing, not decreasing. Okay, not increasing, not decreasing. What does it mean, not increasing? It's stable, but critical. Stable, but critical. This is the threshold of stability, uh, instability. After this point, it will become unstable. So any point from this part and the, to, to and this, uh, from uh, and this point and here to this direction, it will be always stable. Any positive real part, it will be unstable. If it's zero, it's a critically stable, okay? This point is critically, we call it critically stable. It's stable, but this is the limit, okay? Okay, but it's good, it's stable, it's okay. Okay. Actually, in most uh, engines, mechanical systems, okay, they, they, that uh, run at steady state, you will see it critically stable. And it's okay. Okay. So this is the big picture. I hope it's clear. Now, what we're gonna do, inshallah, next, we will see 
another method okay uh, that will help us to solve or to check whether the system is stable or unstable okay without solving for the roots this is going to be helpful when we have a uh, a high order a high order characteristic equation we will talk about this inshallah next thank you for listening